All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakaha Kodash, and double honors to the apostles, the bishops, and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this truth. And peace and salutations to you, Akim, to you brothers that's pushing this word throughout the four corners abroad with truth and sincerity, and looking forward to be found worthy for deliverance. And I don't want Ratazah be part of that hopeful elect, man. You know, the Bayaf Dawada, the house of David, the elect. And Shalom to the Akin Wa Athwats. Peace and blessings to the brothers and sisters that may be tuning in, studying, and learning under the vibration of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. This is the brother Taz of War Bonaparium uh, from the GMS Boston. Came back with a quick lesson. And uh, as you can see, man, a lot of great miseries, uh, uh, tribulation, and judgment is taking place on this earth, man. Especially after this uh, Passover that just passed in 2024, you know, it, the Lord is going to bring great death and miseries and tribulations uh, across the world, man. You know, the Lord is furious with this place, you know, and he's about to bring judgment and plagues. And it behooves you people to, once you hear these warnings, these epistles from the from from the um, from the prophets of the Lord to get right and repent and seek the Lord, man. Before those evil days draw nigh, you know, because they're coming. Lo, it will come. It's written in the book, man. The, uh, the Lord declared the end from the beginning, and now the end is being made manifest, man. So the Lord left these signs, these wonders, these clues, these uh, uh, information for his, his, the men of light, you know, th those that have this knowledge and understanding, the prophets, to go out and give warning so you can, so you can take heed, man, and get right and repent, man. Because great judgment is coming, and we're in these latter days, man. So before I get to this article, you know, breaking news, or not breaking news, but it happened, I believe, last night, you know. Or, yep, yep, last night, this more early this morning, man, a bridge collapsed uh, in Baltimore by, hit, by being hit from um, a cargo ship. You know, and then yeah, I got that video, but it just shows, man, a lot of great judgment is coming. It's taking place, man. So it behooves you to get right, man, because only evil days is coming, man. So real quick, let me start at uh, Ezekiel 7, verse, uh, I'll start at 7, verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Also thou son of man, thus said the Lord Yahweh unto the land of Israel, an end. The end is come upon the four corners of the land. And now is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon thee. I will judge thee accordingly uh, to thy ways, and, and will recompense upon thee all thy abominations. And my eye shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity. But I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and, thy abom and thine abominations shall be in the midst of thee. And ye shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh, and thus said the Lord, the Lord Yahweh, in evil, in only evil, behold, is come. An end is come. The end is come. It watcheth for thee. Behold, it is come. Hey, Amen. So we're in these latter times, man, in these end times. And evil and only evil is coming, man. And the Lord is not going to spare you know, or have any pity on, on, on mainly the children of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that don't get right and repent. And he's not having any pity or sparing lives of these heathen nations. Again, the Lord is furious. He's about to bring his judgment and, and, and recompense his, um, you know, his anger, his indignation, his righteous anger upon the world, the four corners of the land. And great judgment is going to take place. And we in these latter days, man, we're in the time now where the, uh, the Lord is about to, 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 to visit the world, which he made, man. You know, he's about to pour out his anger. And he's showing it through these tribulations, through this chaos, through great death, you know. So I got this article again, endtimeheadlines.org. And again, an end and only the end time has come, man. Several missing after ship strikes triggers Baltimore Bridge collapse. The Francis Scott Key Bridge along I-695 in Maryland collapsed into the Balt Baltimore Harbor following a ship strike early Tuesday morning setting off a search and rescue mission for those inside vehicles that plunge into the chilly waters. A live stream of the bridge appeared to show a cargo ship colliding with the support beam, causing the bridge to break apart and fall into the uh, 
the Patapsico River. Official says upwards of seven people are missing and that two had been pulled from the water. Multiple vehicles were on the bridge at the time, but no update on casualties has been offered. Hey, man, this is this is a hey, judgment, man. Judgment, judgment of the Heavenly Father to bring destruction and, and, and death, you know, upon upon um, here in Baltimore, you know. But, hey, it's going to happen throughout the world. You know, the words of the Lord will not go without void. So he said it. He meant it, man. He said he's going to bring real quick. He's going to bring death and judgment around the um, four corners of the earth real quick. Second, um, Ezra's 15 and uh, 14. Woe into the world and them that dwell therein. Hey, so that woe is destruction. You know, death is coming to the world and them that dwell therein, man. You know, the reason why he's doing this, let me read up, man. Uh, second Ezra 15 verse 5 Behold said the Lord I will bring plagues upon the, the world The sword, famine, death and destruction For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth And their hurtful works are fulfilled man. See so the Lord is bringing these plagues The sword, famine, death and destruction man. Yeah, it's a fearful thing to fall on the hands Real quick I'll get that man Uh, Hebrews 10 and 30 uh, I'll start at verse 30 For we know him that have said Vengeance belongeth unto me I will recompense send the Lord And again the Lord shall judge his people Verse 31 It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power Because the Lord will bring judgment on anybody You can't escape the hands of the heavenly father man As it says in um, was it Amos you flee from a bear, uh, free from a lion, then a bear met him. What's that? Uh, Amos 5 and uh, 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. And again, that woe is destruction. Now, uh, verse 19. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, or went into a house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Hey, so it just shows you all types of plagues, destruction is going to come your way if you are, uh, if you're not, uh, if you're not part of the, the elect, man, of Israel, you know, death is going to find you in all avenues. The Lord has infinite ways to kill. And we know it's Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai that's ordaining this, who's killing and bringing destruction. It's not the devil. It's not Satan. You know, it's Yahweh who ordains these. Or ordains these deaths real quick. Um, Isaiah, again, I'm just going through the spirit. Isaiah, was that 45 and 7? Yep, Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness, I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. See, so the Lord's doing all these things real quick, just to back that up. Um, Deuteronomy 32 and 39. Yep, Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God or no power with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. See, so this is all ordained from Yahweh Bashem Shai. This dire situation, breaking news as you see on this Im image, bringing destruction. The Lord said he's going to bring the sword, famine, death, and destruction. And this is in these latter times, man. Evil and only evil is come, man. And it watcheth for thee. And we've been, and the Lord has set forth his prophets, the apostles last, the, the elders, the brothers on down from Great Millstone to give you the warning, man, to get right and repent, man. Because these days that are coming are going to be days of evil. So it behooves you to be circumspect. But real quick, let me get this, uh, a brother shared it on the, uh, on the group chat. Hey, the actual video, man. So God, look at the cars here. There's cars here. See him? The cargo ship hits the bridge. Baltimore. Horrible. God bless everybody. Yeah, you hear him say, God bless everybody. But the Lord is bringing these destruction. I just read in Deuteronomy that the Lord kills and maketh alive. He heals and he wounds. He, the Lord, does all these things, man. You know, and there was cars on that bridge, you know, in the report, it says roughly seven 
uh, people may be missing or, or a few cars was on that bridge hey they they and you know that, that water is freezing so they they the lord probably drowned them you know and brought destruction to them that way man you know and this is a, it's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living power man you know and there's none that can deliver you out of the hands of Yahweh Bashem you know and this is why we're here to give you warning to get right and repent man the Lord is not to be mocked. The Lord is not to be taken lightly, man. It behooves you Israelites, again, to repent and seek the Lord ten times more, man. Because the days that we're embarking on are some deadly times, man. Judgment, evil times, man. It's not about love and peace. We're not in the time of that. When you read in Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, the Lord set times perfect. There's a balance, man. And we're not in the time of love and peace. We're in the time of, of, of hate. Time of war, this time of great death, miseries, gnashing of teeth, tribulations, trouble. And we're here to give you that warning, man. So it behooves you to get right and repent, man. And not and and, and don't fall for the smooth sayings or the everything's gonna be alright uh, uh doctrine from these other people that claim that they're prophets, man. They're false prophets. They're not warning their people about the sword or about the famine or about the plagues or the potential. Great death and misery that's coming on the earth, man. You know you can't. You gotta uh, refrain from those quote unquote. Well, not quote unquote. You gotta refrain from those false prophets that just push prosperity or love and peace and happiness, man. We're not in them times, man. It's time to get right, man, and be circumspect. Uh, Ephesians chapter five, verse fourteen. Wherefore he said, "Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead." And the anointed, Yahweh Shai, shall give thee light. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. So you have to understand, you'll be considered wise if you understand and being circumspect and paying attention that that, that this has been brought from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know. Evil days is coming, so it behoove you to get right and, and try to repent and seek to please Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Do you not want to be in the crosshairs or be part of or be partakers of the judgment of of the uh, of Babylon or the judgment of the wicked of, of Esau Edom, man? You know the days are evil. You want to walk circumspectly, you know, and this is why you know we. We push forth these lessons. We see what's going on through these articles. And, you know, some scoffers may say, oh, you, all you guys is pushing is death or pushing hate. Hey, man. It says, or oh, we're pushing fear. We're fear mongers or this, this, and that, and the third. Hey, man. It says, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. And that was 2 Ezra, the 15th chapter, the third verse, and the fourth verse, man. We don't care what you naysayers say, man. Or you're unfaithful. Being unfaithful in these times is going to just lead you to being put to death, man. You know? We're here to give you warning to save your lives, man. To wipe the blood off our hands. Because that's our, uh, our job. The Lord ordained us as a prophet to give warning. To wipe the blood off our hands, man. Get right, man. The days are evil that are coming. Judgment is coming. We're in the beginning of sorrows. Lord, the Lord left these signs and wonders, these clues, again, that, that we can uh, indicate what times we're in, man. And we're in them end times. So, um, yeah, you could say we fear mongers or we're pushing forth hate. Hey, man, just seeing that video of that bridge collapse, it's a fearful thing, man. Uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 11, and it reads, Knowing the terror, the terror, Salakia, Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. But we are made manifest into the Most High, and I tr and I trust also are made manifest in your consciousness. See, see we know the terror of Yahweh Bashem Shai. The Lord, hey, the Lord has all type of avenues and infinite ways to kill, you know, the wicked, you know. So it behooves you to to take heed to fear Yahweh Bashem Shai, because that's the beginning of knowledge. And understand it. What's that? Uh, Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. You'll be only considered a fool if you're not understanding that this is the will of Yahweh Bashim Shai to bring judgment on the earth. You know? To bring plagues upon the earth. 
the reason why this world is decaying and the love of many are waxing cold and there's just so much calamities and epic uh, 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 tragedies of biblical proportions, you'll be a fool to not understand that this is judgment of the Lord, you know? You'll be a fool not to try to get right with the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. You know, you'll be considered a fool, man. You know, again, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. The times that, we're, that are coming are evil times, man. We're in the beginning of sorrows, as the scripture says, man. What's that? Um, Second Ezra 16 and... Uh, Yep, Second Ezra 16 and 17 Woe is me, woe is me De Who will deliver me in those days? Again, that word woe is destruction, man Chaos and destruction, death, miseries, man You know, in verse nine, uh, 18 The beginning of sorrows and great mournings The beginning of famines and great death The beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear The beginning of evils and what shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for a memory. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful from of the scourges, man. Behold, rituals shall be so good cheap upon the earth that they shall think themselves to be in a good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth. Again, bad times. That's evil. Uh, sword, famine, and great confusion. For many of them that dwell on the earth shall perish of famine. And the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. And that kind of goes back to what I read in Amos, the fifth chapter, man. If you think you could flee a bear, I mean, Salaki, flee a lion, that's a calamity. That's you're facing death. And, and, hey, you may be able to flee that calamity, but then you were met with a bear. And then you flee a bear, you think you go into a house, a place that you can get some rest and some uh, a safe haven for a moment. And you lean your hand, being being relaxed, being comforted, or thinking you're in have a peace and safety or secure mindset. And then you, you then a serpent bit his hand. It just shows you that death will come at any at all avenues, man. And, and again, in this verse, it says those that escape, uh, 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 those that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. So it just shows you the Lord's bringing these plagues. And if, if it's ordained for you to be delivered into the sword or to be delivered to the famine or to, to die, ultimately you, you, the Lord's going to, to wipe you out, man. And verse 23, and the dead man shall be cast out as dung and there shall be no man to comfort them for the earth shall be wasted and the cities and the cities shall be cast down, man. Hey, man, great judgments coming. The Lord's casting down uh, these cities, mainly here in America. He's got to bring way more chaos, way more miseries and way more bad times, evils, man, as we as I read, man. So with that, man, I pray everything was edifying. It behooves you again, real quick before I end this lesson. Again, once you hear these, these these warnings, these epistles, it behooves you to get right and seek the Lord, man. So I'll close out with this. Got to go back into the plantation. Ecclesiasticus chapter 5, verse 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance, man. So it behooves you to to be to once you hear these warnings, these epistles, these articles, to get right and repent, man. This should be important to you. You know, you don't want to tarry. You don't want to put off from day to day. You don't want to think that oh well, that happened in Baltimore. That's not happening here in California because there's there's there, I've done lessons where. Uh, earthquakes have hit California, so on and so forth, you know, or, or or hurricanes have hit Florida. Just because it didn't happen in your state, your city, you know what I mean? Don't think that you're in a good case, man, because the Lord is going to bring judgment throughout the whole world, as I read, you know, and mainly here in Babylon, the great, a.k.a. America, man. So 
in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of the Lord's vengeance. It behooves you. You better get right, repent, and seek after Yahweh Hashem Yahushai by Hashem Kahakwadash. So with that, I pray everything was edifying. Again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai by Hashem Kahakwadash. Double honors again to the apostles, to the bishops, and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this truth. And peace and salutations to the Bayaf Dawada. That's the house of David, the elect. Until next time, I want to say Shalom.